right now I have this X79 motherboard here and I really want to base a tutorial on how to overclock, you know, the X79 platform in general on this. So I gotta, you know, use a water cooler to get a decent tutorial, even though this kind of suck. But the problem is, you know, it just doesn't fit, you know, with the standard mounting mechanism. All right. Uh, you, you can just see it because there are those screws and so this one can't properly go up. And so, well, now we're gonna use those screws and, you know, we have a couple. And now we're gonna use the fact that this kind of socket has like this hole and we can screw in there. Look at it. And as you can see, it just stays there. So we're gonna just place this guy over it. All right, and then put the screws. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you while I do it because I need two hands. All right, now I've screwed those in. And as you can see, it still moves a lot, a little bit. And so we're gonna add those guys and it should stop it. And as you can see, pretty stable now with the washers on. Now, you know, if you want a bonus, Thermal paste application. But here we go again. Clean and easy. Flawless. Now, little bonus tip. I had to use those ones with washers mainly because, as you can see, the part that can actually go inside is pretty small. Now, if you happen to have bigger screws, like those ones, you can actually just use them, you know, without washers. And, you know, I didn't, but if you have one of those, which is small enough to fit, that's perfect. You know, no washers, easy, you can just screw it in and it will work flawlessly. All right, here we are. Just two screws in the end, because I wanted to save screws. Nah, because I was lazy. And well, as you can see, you know, the thermal paste application was pretty good, 57 degree under stress tests. And this CPU, I mean, is a six core 12 threaded i7 from X79. So, you know, it has a way higher TDP than standard CPUs. So, great result and the pump is not even at full speed this one isn't isn't at full speed either so you see you have way more room for ma for error when you apply thermal paste than you think and uh, the only downside of doing this method is you waste paste but then again that paste is very cheap so it's way easier to just do it like that three minutes and just go and you are sure that you won't have to apply it again you know which is quite important if you mount stuff with zip ties or like this. Well, see ya. If you guys ever wondered what an i7 3930K at 4.8 gigahertz can do in Cinebench, and you know, you probably haven't, but I don't give a fuck, all right? So this is what he can do, all right? Here we go. And remember, we are on a 120 mil AIO with just two screws. So yeah, all right. I could have probably gotten five gigahertz without 240 mil AIO, but you know, right now, um, pretty unlikely that they managed to run Cinebench at five gigahertz. All right, all right. As you can see, it was pretty fast. And oh, come on, you can't crash now, you know? I mean, did you really think that you could ruin, all right, my Cinebench run and not pay any consequences? Well, 1.525 volts. I guess this time you will make the run, you know?